we're heading back over to TikTok, man. I tell you, I be minding my business when it comes to TikTok, but sometimes you just come across people that come across your For You page and you just have to sit and listen to what they be saying. Try to understand the words that be coming out of their mouths when it comes to trucking. Now this young man right here, shout out to Abdul. Shout out to you, my guy. I'm just gonna say before we listen to what you have to say about your experience, because you're 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 stitching a content creator on TikTok that says that he's getting out of trucking and going back to the whatever he was doing before he got into trucking because trucking isn't it for him. But Abdul, my man, you said uh, trucking isn't it for you either. Let's hear your story, bro. No more wasting time. Let's get it. Now hold on. Every time I come on here and I give my take on truck driving and shit like that, I'm always met with a mixed bag of response. I met with people asking me how to get into trucking. I met with people, you know, saying that they've had similar experiences. And then I'm also met with people who think that I'm a fucking idiot, I'm a clown, I'm a dumbass, because I didn't do what they did specifically while driving truck. And to those people, you can go fuck yourself. That's pretty much the, 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 the fucking middle of it all. But I have said this time and time again, if you get into truck driving, it all depends on your personal experience, but a lot of times, it's not gonna be the experience that you think you're going to get. When I first got into truck driving, I only wanted money. I didn't give a fuck about the open road. I didn't give a fuck about the craft. I didn't give a fuck. And I still don't give a fuck about anything that has to do with truck drive. I just want money. Okay. I don't, I don't care about becoming a super trucker and, and, and doing all this shit. I'm a naturally, I'm a naturally good driver. So I picked up, you know, driving. I, there's not a vehicle I can't operate with time, but I picked up how to operate that motherfucking truck forward, back, upside down and right. I could back a fucking 52 footer or 53 footer into a fucking hole the size of the trailer if I wanted to. That's how good I am. However, none of that has to do with the sheer amount of bullshit that I had to go through when it came to driving truck. My longest load was from Maine to Minnesota, and that is anywhere from 1,100 to 1,500 miles. That is a far fucking drive. You are literally driving from one side of the country to the middle of the fucking country. That is a far fucking drive. After doing that trip, I only got paid $300, a little over $300 for to go from Maine to Minnesota. You see what I'm saying? That's right then is when I knew, fuck truck driving, I'll never do this shit again. Now, granted, I'll never give up my CDL just because of all the shit that I had to go through to get it. But if you are going to get into truck driving, understand that there is a large percentage chance that you're not going to have a good experience, right? You may find a company that pays you well, gives you great home time, doesn't give you shit dog fucking fucked up roads, uh, routes, I mean, doesn't fucking disrespect you, doesn't have, you don't have to deal with idiots. You may actually shout out to my man that dude he, he said he can back up a trailer like with the best of them and he was only out here for the money f trucking so let's let's break this down a little bit he's right you're you're, you're right abdul when you get into trucking it's not what you think it's not what you think but see here's the problem that a lot of you get into trucking y'all y'all think y'all gonna make all this money y'all y'all think y'all gonna get your cdl and the first thing that y'all gonna do that first paycheck is gonna be a million dollars it's gonna be six figures that's what y'all think but y'all get molded into that though y'all get molded into that y'all y'all see all these influencers gurus telling you you can do this that and the third and as soon as you get in it it's not what it turns out to be and then you get pissed off Again, you get pissed off, and now you say it to yourself, nah, this ain't what I signed up for. I can't mess with it. What's your thoughts on that part? They, they out here and they can make money. I mean, you just think you're gonna make, a, a, what, two grand a week? Should I say 10,000 a week? No, it depends on what you got going on at home. Payment, a car payment, insurance, house note, rental, all that. That's not going to be it. You're not going to make it. You're not going to make it. Sometimes you got to sacrifice some things. You have to sacrifice some things to make that money. Um, you got to sometimes, sometimes when I started out, that was in 1995. No, I'm sorry. 2005. I had to sacrifice 
I had to go without eating sometimes. I mean, hey, it happens. It happens. Woo, you say go without eating, man. How, how long have you went eating ramen noodles? I'm sure you had to eat something, but what was the what was the longest stretch that you had to that you had to stretch your food out? Jeez. Hell, you, it, it, speaking of points on your on your card, that's how, that hit the point right there. Once you run out of funds and you got points on your card, and, you, and that's the last bit of your funds, yeah, I had to turn to the card, you know, eating hot dogs or you know, sometimes you get a you get a driver to pay for your um. Uh, your um your you know bathing to get some you know get washed up and stuff you know then you know food sometimes you had to you know sometimes you had to ask hey man i ain't get paid enough to get food can you you know help me out you know damn it man it was rough like that yeah man back then Woo. it's not about the money bro and see this is what you get roped into you get roped into it. Uh, you see all this glitz and glamour and people throwing up money like they making money and all like that. You can't believe everything you see. You said you, that's all you cared about was the money. And that, I believe that's what a majority of you new drivers that's coming out here, that's all y'all care about too. Y'all care about the money. But y'all not understanding the sacrifices. It's like, it's like my co-driver said. So there's going to be time that you're going to have to rely on other people to be like, yeah, uh, yeah, can I can I borrow a couple of dollars? Can I use my points? Because the money ain't always there, bro. The money is not always there. It wasn't for me in the beginning. Man, I, I was doing my training. All I was getting was like $400. And I had to send $300 at home. So yeah, I had to make that hundred dollar stretch for that week. It got better, it, and it does get better with your experience, with your time, and with the right company. I would say. Let's talk about the travel, though. You say you went from one side of the world to the middle of the world. It was like what about eleven hundred miles, and you only made three hundred dollars. I don't know what company you working for. That sounds like about thirty. He said that. <laughs> My longest load was from Maine to Minnesota, and that is anywhere from 1,100 to 1,500 miles. That is a far fucking drive. You are literally driving from one side of the country to the middle of the fucking country. That is a far fucking drive. After doing that trip, I only got paid $300, a little over $300 for... What he done? Did he did he borrow from the um like you know get advances or is he getting paid thirty five or forty cents or forty five cents and a mile? Not Whoa. not even not even that driver. What three hundred dollars? That's that's about thirty thirty five cents a mile. Considering, mm -hmm. I, I don't know where you driving. Whoever you chose to drive for that that's offering you that amount of money. Per mile, but I know the consensus of new drivers that's coming in now is about maybe 45 to 50 cent a mile. Three hundred dollars? And you over here complaining about that's a lot of miles to drive. Bro, try driving from Ohio to Utah. 1,700 miles. Down I-80. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Yeah, yeah. You said from Ohio to Utah? I am driving as we speak from Ohio to Utah. My GPS says a day and two hours to get there. Yeah, Ohio to Utah. We going from one side of the world to the clear other side of the world. That's a lot of miles, bro. But I'm doing I'm doing from Ohio to California. That's two thousand two hundred eighty three miles. Woo! Try doing that, my guy. Shout out to you, Adul, but try doing that, my man. If you think going from Maine, what'd he say? Maine to 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 Minnesota, you you think a thousand or fifteen hundred miles is a long ass drive. Try cold driver going to California and try me going to Utah. Like literally right outside of Nevada. That's how close to Nevada that I am going right now. It's I, I forgot the city. Two Thule, what the Thule, Utah, whatever. I don't know, but try that, my guy. I'm, I'm just saying, trucking is just not it for people. They get involved, they get, they go and get their CDLs, and then once they come out here, they think they're gonna make all this money, and and that's all they're gonna care about and all like that. But they're not understanding 
the sacrifices. They're not understanding the miles that you're going to be putting into this. If you can't handle the drive, then this is not it for you. And it sounds like you said you can handle it, but about backing and all like that, I'm damn near 10 years in and I'm I'm still surprised at, at my backing skill. I mean, there's been some places that I just couldn't do it and I'm 10 years in. There's some places that I literally had to get out and tell the other driver like, hey, can you disconnect right quick? If you disconnect, I can get in that hole. Try, get, try getting in them holes down in Laredo, Texas. Try getting in, the, try getting in those spots, bro, where you have to back off the street through a narrow gate and you still have to navigate around the sea of bullshit that's down there, that's in front, that's down there to dock in a up. It's not even a dock, it's a fucking hole in a wall. Try that, my guy. I'm surprised at myself when I be doing it. And, he, and, and yes, you do have an audience because those guys that be driving those, what do you call it, yard moving trucks, they're gonna be sitting right there, probably with the camera out. We got another one. Hey, uh, excuse me. Yeah, so where's the dock? No, the dock's right here, right here. Can, can you give me some truck drivers get in that all the time? Yeah, but this is my first time here. But truck drivers get into that all the time. You're a professional truck driver, are you? Yeah. How long you been driving there, buddy? Nine years. Oh, you, you can get in there. Here I am about an hour later, finally getting in the door. Well, I'm glad you finally got here because we was getting tired of waiting on you. I'm surprised I got up in here too, bro. So yeah, yeah, if you can back, if you can back, more power to you, man. But like I say, you you probably haven't been in those Laredo situations yet. Wait till you get down there and then come back to me and say that you can back the trailer in a hole. And then I give you the applause that you that that you've been so wanting. I'll give you that. I'll give you a hand clap. But let me know when you get down there. These new TikTok truckers, shout out to all of them, though. I I, I I appreciate you guys giving me content. Thank you very much for that. Yeah, yeah. Without them, it wouldn't have been no, um, let's see how this going to happen with driving and, and showing firsthand the difficulties of really driving and situations of cars just jumping right in front of a truck that's hauling 80 thousand you know what i'm saying pounds going down the road you don't do that people do not do that some of these new jacks haven't experienced that yet been there done that been there done that let let me know let me know when you get into your first accident and see how you and see how you handle that because once once you get in your first accident that's where you're gonna find out if you're strong enough depending on what that accident is because I talked to a few drivers that have been driving out here. They said they haven't had no problem. But when they had that first accident, that was it for them. That was it for them. Oh, I'm done. My life flashed right before my eyes after that accident. Can you come back out after you, you get a good, clean bill of health and, and everything is all right? Can you come back out here and drive like you drove before? We all been there. We all been there. I'm just saying, it's not... If it's not for you and you and you understand the assignment beforehand, shout out to you. But if you think that this is a cakewalk, it isn't. It isn't. It's not a cakewalk, man. That's the problem with these newfangled drivers. They they come out here and be like, oh, it's a cakewalk. You can do this. You can do that. It's all about the money, yada, yada, yada. It ain't about that anymore.